morning it's um a real rush this morning uh, because the kids are on holiday and uh, we we haven't got that kind of timetable for getting to school and then getting on with the day uh, we've all been a bit lazy this morning and had a leisurely morning but um we're up and about now uh, the kids are going to come across and meet me in a bit when i finish at the gym uh, and then uh, sarah's off out for the morning with her mum and um me and the kids are going to go and get some new tires fitted to the um to the leaf so uh We'll talk about that a bit later, and also I want to talk about a company in China called Neo, who have uh, just launched a new SUV EV um, over there. And in China, they're talking about it being a, a Tesla beta. Um, I just want to kind of talk through why and why they think that might be the case. Uh, but first of all, I need to go and wear myself out at the gym. So we've dropped the car off to have the um, tyres fitted. I'll tell you all about that later, the reasons why I've chosen what I've chosen. But for now, we've got to kill an hour. So, um, well, there's only one thing to do, isn't there, Annabelle? Yeah. What's that? Eat millionaire shortbread. And go to a coffee shop and drink <laughs> coffees. <laughs> so that's where we're heading now. What's that? Because you shouldn't get cars with exhaust pipes on because it might kill the, the, the animals in cold countries. That's true. Like, Who told you that? Like penguins. Nobody. How do you know that then? Um, my brain just told me it. Your brain told you, right. And then I just wanted to tell somebody. Okay. Did, was it because the you smelt the cars in the car park? Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. do they smell of? Yucky stuff. Yeah. Yucky stuff. <laughs> they smell yucky stuff. They smell of like rotten eggs. Uh, true, they do smell of rotten eggs. Well done. Why is it have this at the end? Well, that's just where it comes out the mould. But they say all the tread means it dries the road and gets all the, the wet off of it, you see? Daddy, I wish I was a car so I could go up that elevator thing. What, you want to go on the ramp? <laughs> I'll go. Yay! See the front tyres? Number nine. Number nine. Well, there's the two tyres fitted. Uh, no issues at all. Uh, less than an hour, they were all done. Now, I've had two Goodyear efficient grips put on the front uh, and without going over old ground uh, the reason I've done that is because um, first and foremost they match the back I had two put on there a couple of months ago um, and the reason I chose them is because they're the quietest and the most efficient tyres um, that I could find which doesn't mean they're the cheapest to be honest uh, they were £108 fitted per tyre so um, yeah not the cheapest but uh, you know they are actually now I've got all four on it's lovely and quiet still so um, I've got uh, no complaints at all now if you have a look I'll show you the um, before and after pictures so that's uh, the grip on the front tires before I had the new ones and the new ones next to them uh, hopefully you can see it, it is a little bit wet but um, hopefully you can see that all right but of more interest uh, here's the left and right off offside and near side uh, front tires before I had them changed and you can see hopefully uh, again with the wet on there might not be that easy but you can see the difference in wear and how the near side tyre has worn substantially more than the offside tyre. Now I have had them rotated over the, their life, um, the car's now just coming up for 33,000 miles uh, and those tyres have been on since the, the start. Uh, I, I don't know why they've ended up like that. I had the alignment sorted um, probably about a month before I had the back tyres changed and interestingly enough I had the alignment done and the car drove absolutely true the steering wheel was bang on um, when I had the back tires changed all of a sudden the steering wheel was slightly counted to the left um, as if all the alignment had been put out well having now had these front tires put on it's gone true again now I, I don't know if that well it must be just because of that uneven wear of the front tires um, I don't know if I now need to get my alignment sorted again because I don't know whether it's wearing unevenly or whether those tyres have always been a bit uneven and that's what caused it. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe that's something for the new year. Maybe I'm 
I can go and get, get it checked, see, if, see what it looks like. Um, but either way, it's driving lovely now, nice and true, and um, yeah, lovely and quiet to be honest, which is exactly what I wanted. Now we're home, we've had some lunch, kids are set up playing Christmassy games and things, which is very nice. Um, so I want to kind of round this off uh, for today so I can get on and play with them for the afternoon because um, it's just nice to have some family time, to be honest. Uh, so Neo, they are a startup company who are based predominantly in China. Uh, they, if you, if you believe all the newspaper stories and the internet, they, um, they're Tesla beaters. Now, the reason they're talking about being Tesla beaters uh, isn't because they're producing necessarily a better car, albeit I haven't actually seen one, so I couldn't say for sure, but um, it's because it's cheaper to buy a, a, sort of a similar spec car, not quite as good, but a similar spec car in China as it is to buy a Tesla. And the reason for that is because uh, Tesla have to import their cars, therefore they don't qualify for any of the subsidies, um, and therefore the cars are substantially more expensive in China than... Um, the homegrown cars, if you like, that are built there. So um, as a bit of an aside, they are looking at building a factory there at the moment. So that might all change um, quite soon. But at the moment, um, Neo seem to be producing uh, an SUV, which is similar to the Model um, X. It, it's by no means um, got the range, got the, the speed and the power, but it's not a million miles away but it is substantially cheaper in China. Now, um, I don't want to talk about all the facts and figures of it. I'll put some, some pictures up so you can have a look at it. It's, you know, it's a nice looking SUV. Um, the reason I want to talk about it is because um, they're doing something different and something that's been talked about. Certainly Tesla looked at it and then they left it alone. Uh, rather than having to charge it all the time, throughout China, they're going to um, place about 1,100 uh, battery swapping stations so they're saying in about three minutes you can drive in have your uh, battery taken out a fresh one put in fully charged and off you go again which is something a bit different now whether that that will be a long-lived thing because it, in my opinion once we start hitting solid state batteries and the battery technology advances actually it's not going to take that long to charge these batteries up but at the moment it's something that people have talked about and it's never been done or seen. So um, I think there's going to be quite a lot of keen interest around the world to see whether that, um, that technology actually works and whether it's, it's a good thing or not. Um, you know, they're obviously going to have to be very strategic about where they put these stations. And, um, you know, are you going to rent the battery? Are people going to own the batteries? If you look after your battery and then after six months you suddenly need to a battery swap, are you going to get a bit of a dud? Um, there's all sorts of questions that are left unanswered at the moment, but uh, I just find it really interesting that they're going to give this a go, and um, if it works, perhaps that will start sort of filtering out around the world. Uh, as for Neo as a car, um, or a car company and their cars they produce, they might be elsewhere other than China. And the reason I say that is because uh, they've got an office in America and they've got one here in London. So uh, potentially that car could come out of China and be sold elsewhere. And if it sort of does end up being sold elsewhere, it could be a, quite a good car for quite a good price. Um, but time will tell with that. It's about to be launched. We'll see what it's like. And um, if I get any more information about it, then I'll, I'll let you know. But um, yeah, just some... Uh, Something a bit different that I thought I'd share with you. So um, that's it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's vlog. If you have, remember to like and share it. And if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and don't forget you can find me on um, Twitter and Instagram at EV Opinion. Uh, but for now, have a good evening and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Hello. <laughs>